Hello friends, I am Ashish. I welcome all of you. Now we'll enter into strategy section. In this, we'll talk about all of the good ways that we need to follow. Means we need to strategize our preparation. First is that there are two ways to crack CCNA or attempt. One is that you divide it into two parts, like one and two, ICND one and two. Second is that you go for combo exam. If you go for combo exam, the price will be double, syllabus will be double, risk will be double. So better is that you go for the individual exams like one and two, so that uh, you will have more time. But the thing is that in case you fail in the first part of this uh, IC and D one, then obviously you have to spend uh, fifty percent extra. Though I want you to pass exam in first attempt i wish you all the very best for it so uh, you have to decide about it if you're comfortable going for the combo then please go for it third point is that in case you have enough time means you're not doing any job then probably you need three to four months for preparing this ccna because it is not uh, that easy all right or if you are working with some company then the only way for you to prepare for this uh, exam is to go weekend classes is go on the weekend classes there are some centers wherein you will find four hours saturday four hours sunday class wherein you will be able to prepare well so you have to uh, decide on this you can also go for the weekday classes even though you are working but again that depends upon you you need to find out good material preference should be given to cisco press books only it is a part of strategy okay because cisco will publish only those things which are uh, authorized by them and only questions will be asked from that book itself there cannot be any uh, material which is out of uh, these books you need to prepare excel sheet of topics like uh, osi models subnetting static routing dynamic routing uh, in the dynamic routing you can further bifurcate into rip ospf bgp whatever topics you want to write you need to write progress report of every topic okay so that you have clear visibility where do you stand right now because uh, generally Cisco training takes two months time means you spend two hours daily on that so if you do not have this report then probably you will not have the idea how much is covered and how much is not so it will be easy and good way to track your uh, preparation then I would recommend you to rate yourself against every topic from 1 to 10. Let's say that you have you're already working with an IT company as a network engineer, so you'll be probably good in routing and switching. Or you can say you're very good in EIGRP. You can give 6 marks or 8 marks depending upon your comfort. So it will be able to uh, plan your preparation very well you will be able to concentrate on those things which are weak for you there are uh, there's the option of flashcard or sticky notes in your laptop you can use those things you can write uh, your points there because the special thing about sticky note is that whenever your laptop reboots it will always be there that data does not get deleted when the uh, reboot happens of laptop so, and moreover it will be kind of a uh, it'll be there on the right corner of the screen or left corner where you want to keep it so it's a good way to memorize or remember your uh, preparation revise regularly on whatever you learned at institute or via online training through rack rental or uh, self-paced videos you need to revise regularly because these are new things these are practical things in college we study a lot of theoretical things so practical things are sometimes uh, tough to remember because we 
are not used to it okay so you need to practice all those things that you do in case you've joined any institute wherein you've got the opportunity to see the devices configured using console cable then I would suggest you to do these things try connecting cables with your own hands for example serial connectors CSU DSU Ethernet cables stack cables power cables uh, see where is auxiliary port what kind of uh, cable do we need to have for connecting two switches like cross cable or uh, a normal cable okay so these things you need to know because you will not visit the institutes every time in your career okay, probably it is a one and the last opportunity okay so you will also be able to see the mode button on this switch okay and there are many more things like design how many ports are there so these kind of things uh, you need to try that's my recommendation and these are very helpful because once you work in the remote remote sport then you would have to deal with those people who uh, are known as field sport engineers and then you have to guide those people to connect that uh, console cable the console cable is different it is not that uh, circular cable it's a steep cable of sky blue color okay they would be usb to serial connector as well that you need to have you need to have that usb software installed so these are very small things but very helpful uh, in tough situations so friends these are the 10 points which are part of strategy uh, of preparation number one We'll talk about few more points in next chapter. So I hope that it's been informative to you. And I would like to thank you for being. Have a nice day.